Hey guys, it's Brie the Coupon Queen. Welcome back to my channel. We are inside of Walmart. We're about to head over so that I can complete two bonuses. I have a midweek bonus, which is a dollar for 10 rebates, but I am also gonna be finishing this big bonus. I need 20 more rebates to finish it, but we only have a day left. So I am gonna be completing both bonuses today. Fingers crossed they have all of the products and stuff that I am needing. So if you have some Ibotta rebates that you need to finish towards your bonus, definitely keep watching for some easy deals. And if you are new to my channel, take a second, hit the red subscribe button and the notification bell so you won't miss out on any easy deals that you can do every single week. There is a printable breakdown linked below for you as well with all of the deals that I'm doing. And if there's a printable break, or not a printable breakdown, a printable coupon that I'm using on a deal, I linked that for you in that breakdown as well so you can click it, print it, to try to make it as easy as possible for you to do the same deals. Now keep in mind, all rebate apps do vary. So you may have a bigger value of a rebate or you may not have a rebate I have. So just double check your account before you go to the store to try to make sure that you don't have any surprises once you get here. So there's a lot of rebates I gotta do. Let's pop inside and start grabbing them. So the first deal I'm really excited about because we rarely get deals on produce. You're gonna grab three avocados. My store, they're 94 cents each. They have to be the avocados from Mexico. Then submit to Ibotta for 50 cents back when you buy three. Makes your final cost 77 cents a piece. Nothing crazy, but anytime we can save on produce, I'm definitely down. Here's an easy deal that you can do on the minute rice. I'm gonna grab the brown rice for $1.88, submit to Ibotta for 25 cents back, makes it $1.63. Does work on any of these varieties. I've tried them quite a few times and they're actually really good. Also, they're super convenient, of course, cause you literally pop it in the microwave for a minute. So it's a good side dish if you guys are making any dinners. Then I'm gonna grab two of these Purdue ground chickens. They are $3.18 each. Submit to Ibotta for a dollar back when you buy two. And this is my third time doing the rebate, so I'll get a dollar bonus. That makes them just $2.18 a piece. Here is a super easy rebate. I actually love sweet tarts too. So you're gonna grab this box, it's only a dollar. Then submit to Ibotta for 50 cents back, makes it half price at just 50 cents. Always good for a little movie night, and I need 20 rebates today to finish these bonuses. So this is an easy one to add in. Another easy rebate is on these craisins. I like putting these in my oatmeal or in my cereal. So they're only $2.34. Submit to Ibotta for a dollar back, makes it a dollar thirty-four. Not the best deal or anything, but again, it's an easy rebate and it makes it cheaper than buying the um, great value brand. And I'm super excited. My store finally restocked the mocha. So this is gonna be an easy Ibotta freebie. You're gonna submit it for 100% back. Now keep in mind, it does have to be on the mocha flavor only. It does not work on the caramel or the dark blend. So hopefully your store has that flavor, but definitely an easy deal. Here's an easy double rebate that you can do as well. Grab the A2 Hershey's chocolate milk for $3.58. There is a dollar printable coupon on their website. It's linked below for you in that printable breakdown. Submit to Ibotta. Both of these rebates pop up, giving you $2 back. That makes it just 58 cents, which is an amazing deal, especially on milk. I'm also gonna grab this deal. So you're gonna grab two of the peanut butter chocolate core bars. They're $1.98 each. Submit to Ibotta for $2.50 back when you buy two. Makes your final cost $1.48 for both or 75 cents each. A lot of people ask where I find this. They are right down there next to all of your yogurts and stuff at my Walmart. I was just walking by this section and you always, again, you wanna train your eyes to look for these. This easy squeeze is 50% off at just $2 and the great value brand of the like Dawn alike is $1.26. So that's like what, 50 cents off, something like that. But definitely check your um, dish soap section and see if that's something you want. 
Here's an easy freebie that anyone can do. Grab one of these Airwick warmers. They are $1.98. We just got new $1.99 printable coupons. For some reason, my printer won't print in black and white anymore, so everything is in color now. But anyway, this is linked in the printable breakdown for you. That's gonna make it completely free. There is also a um, printable coupon for the two count for $3.99, which would give you 52 cents of overage. Fortunately though, my store is out, but I'm still gonna grab this nice freebie. And there are tons and tons of these huge stuffed animals left. Regular price, they were $44. They already hit 50% off, so you can grab one of these huge ones for just $22. These over here are $22, so you can grab one for $11, which is an amazing deal, because these are pretty big. We're also gonna stock up on some Lysol products. So I'm gonna grab one of these for $2.97. I do have a dollar off two product printable coupon. So this is gonna be one product and this is gonna be another product. So for this one, we're gonna submit to Ibotta. Both of these rebates pop up, giving us a dollar back, makes this just 47 cents. For this one, we have a 50 cent rebate. So our final cost is gonna be $1.97. Another great double rebate deal is on the all free and clear. So these small bottles are $3.47. Submit to Ibotta for two separate 50 cent rebates. Makes your final cost $2.47. Now it's not the best deal or anything, but again, that double rebate is gonna help me towards my $10 bonus. If you need some stain removers, I have quite a few of these. They actually work really well. They're $2.38, so pick one. Submit to Ibotta for a dollar back. It makes it $1.38, so almost half price, and you can always use some good stain removers at the house. Another laundry product deal that's all digital is gonna be on the per sale. So I'm gonna grab the liquid for $4.94, submit to the coupons.com app for $2 back, and you're gonna to submit to Ibotta for 50 cents back. Makes it half price at just $2.44. Now we're gonna grab some Lipton green tea. I'm gonna get this one with lemon ginseng for $2.24. There is a dollar printable coupon on the Lipton website when you sign up for their emails. Then submit to Ibotta for 75 cents back, makes it 74 cents. There are so many double rebates, guys. Another one we're gonna grab is this Intuition Bamboo. It's $5.97. Submit to Ibotta. Both of these rebates pop up, giving you $5 back makes it 97 cents. Now in the travel and trial section, I'm gonna grab a Frizz Ease John Frieda hairspray for $2.52. Submit to Ibotta. Both of these rebates pop up again, making this one $1.42. Just kidding, got my math wrong. I think final cost is 92 cents. It'll all be updated though in the breakdown, of course. This printable coupon also resets. So I'm gonna grab another classic jelly for $2.94. Use the $3 printable, gives me six cents of overage. Okay guys, we are back in from Walmart. Everything went great at checkout except for one coupon. The KY coupon actually didn't work. Um, so she came over and she manually entered it in. So that was fine. Other than that, everything went great. I paid with the penny in the register. Then I paid with Walmart pay. That way the physical receipt would print. So I didn't run into those issues that I did last week. So let's go over my receipt. Um, let's see. Okay, so nothing too crazy to show you. When I submitted my receipt to Ibotta though, a few of them didn't show up. So I'll show you which ones those are. Here's everything I grabbed. I did grab these eggs. I got the wrong ones. Um, there's a new pop-up brand on Fetch giving you $1.50 back. That's not the right one though. So just subtract that from your subtotal. Paid that plus taxes with my card. I paid two cents cash just to make sure the paper receipt would print so I didn't have those issues again. Then um, there were a couple rebates that when I submitted my receipt to Ibotta didn't originally show up as like they were gonna give me the cash back. Um, the first one is this. Both rebates that attached to this didn't show up. Um, that's happened almost every time I bought this, so just heads up on that. What I do is I always count how many rebates I should have. 
Then when you submit it, it tells you how many offers it gave you. So you wanna make sure, of course, those are the same. So that one it didn't give me and the avocados it didn't give me. So once you hit verify more offers, then I clicked avocados. It asked, did you buy three? I put yes and it was fine. You didn't have to scan the barcode, which is good because those little sticker barcodes usually have issues. Um, then I scanned the barcode of the cling and it gave it back. So submitted to Ibotta, I got back $21.23. I hit my $10 bonus, so I got that back. I got a dollar bonus for the Purdue and a dollar bonus for my midweek. So that is a total of $33.23 back from Ibotta. That's already over the $20 threshold, so I'll be able to cash that out today. So we're getting like instant cash back. Submitted to coupons.com. I'll be getting $2 back directly to my PayPal today as well. Then I submitted to Fetch Rewards. It got back $1.59 for the uh, Mountain Dew deal, which is awesome. Um, I tried to submit to Brand Club again, but it said that it didn't find any, um, like any cash back. So I just have to kind of figure that one out. But final cost today is $6.06, .06, and we got about $70 worth of products. I got two laundry detergents, so these I can either resell or use them. And I got two things of ground chicken to make dinners this week. So definitely excited about everything that I grabbed. And there were so many double I bought a rebate deals today, which is incredible. Definitely always check. There is also an any item rebate that I got 25 cents back for. So the any item rebates also track towards your bonuses. So always check that. I activated that as well um, before I submitted my receipt. So that way I got that as an additional cash back. If you guys have any questions or anything, definitely drop a comment. Don't forget to smash the like button for me on this video and I will see you next time.